in today's video i am going to explain sub lattice so this is the topic from lattices and this is related to the discrete mathematics see here let's learn today about sub lattice a non empty subset s of a lattice l join meet is called a sub lattice of l so s is said to be a sub lattice of l if and only if s is closed under both the operations join and meet see here s is a non empty subset of the main lattice l and s is called a sub lattice of l if and only if s is closed under the operations join and meet and s should satisfy the closure property under the operations join and meet that is if a comma b belongs to s then a join b and a meet b are also the elements of s see here after operating on join and meet the also the elements should belongs to the set s then s is said to be a sub lattice of this main lattice see here it's so simple a non empty subset s of a lattice is called a sub lattice of l if and only if s is closed under both the operations join and meet that is if a comma b belongs to s then a join b and a meet b are also the results of elements of s then s is called the sub lattice of the main lattice l join meet see here here is an example so let me explain this example if s is equal to a comma b comma c then draw the hash diagram of the lattice possess less than or equal to in which join and meet are the operations so this is the first thing which we have to do see here s is the set abc is given and we have to draw a hash diagram using all the possess less than or equal to in which join and meet are the operations next identify a sub lattice we have to identify a sub lattice of which lattice with four elements see here lat so here we have to take a subset of four elements and we have to show that subset is a sub lattice to the main lattice l and next one again a subset of this lattice with four elements that is not a sub lattice so we have to do one thing so using this main set abc so we have to make all the possible possets and with that we have to select four elements and we have to make a subset with four elements and we have to show that it is a lattice and again we have to take a subset with four elements and we have to show that it is not a sub lattice so consider see here for the solution here here is the solution so s is given as a comma b comma c and the set of all possess see here it's a null set first a singleton set a singleton set b c ab bc ca and abc these are all the possible possess so with this we have to draw the hash diagram see here the hash diagram is also so simple here so s this is null set s2 a b c a b a c b c a b c so this is the hash diagram see here so this is nothing but the hash diagram using all the possible possess see here so where s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 s8 are all plotted here so using this set therefore the main lattice s is equal to the set of all possess s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 and s8 so this is very simple and see here first of all we have to take a subset with four elements and we have to show that that subset is a sub lattice to the main lattice l so this is the main lattice l and we have to select any four elements and we have to show that it is a sub lattice the first thing is according to our question so what is given so consider a subset of l so what is l l here is the main set containing all the eight 
elements that is s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 and s8 so we have to select four elements from this main set l and we have to show that it is a sub lattice let l1 be a subset of the main set l and i have chosen four elements from this so which one i have taken so s1 i have taken s2 I have taken s4 I have taken and s x6 I have taken i have selected four elements out of this main set and i have created a set l1 with four elements and now i'll show that this is a sub lattice see here so this is the main lattice l as i said you this is s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 s8 out of this main set l i have taken a subset with four elements so what are those four elements s1 the position of s1 is here s2 the position of s2 is here s4 the position of s4 is here and s6 the position is here so i have plotted and this is the subset to this main set and now i'll show that this is a sub lattice and how to prove that it is a sub lattice so it should satisfy the closure property with the operations join and meet and see here this is join and meet see here s1 to s1 so join means the least upper bound see here s1 to s1 the upper bound is s1 s1 s2 see here s1 s2 the upper bound here is s2 so this is s2 and s1 s4 so s1 to s4 the upper bound here is s4 and see here s1 to s6 s1 to s6 and the upper bound here is s6 clear and s2 s1 s2 s1 the upper bound is again s2 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 so upper bound is again s2 s2 s4 see here s2 s4 the upper bound is nothing but s6 for these two the upper bound is s6 s2 s6 so this is s2 and s6 the upper bound is s6 and the next one s4 s1 so this is s4 and s1 the upper bound is s4 s4 s2 see here s4 and s2 the upper bound is again s6 s4 to s4 the upper bound is s4 s4 s6 see here this is s4 and s6 the upper bound here is s6 and s6 to s1 so s6 s1 so this is at the top position so every element will be uh, s6 will be the superior to every element so s6 to s1 this is s6 s6 to s2 so this is superior and s6 to s4 s6 s4 so this will be the upper bound and s6 to s6 so this is the least upper bound so next one coming to meet so here s1 to s1 so this is the lower bound here greatest lower bound s1 so this is s1 s1 to s2 so this is the lower bound so s1 to s4 so this is the lower bound so s1 to s6 so this will be the lower bound s2 to s1 s2 s1 so this is the lower bound s2 to s2 s2 will be the lower bound s2 s4 see here s2 s4 the lower bound for this is s1 and next s2 s6 s2 s6 the lower bound is s2 and see s4 s1 see here s4 and s1 so the lower bound is s1 s4 s2 see here s4 and s2 the lower bound is again s1 s1 so s4 s4 the lower bound is s4 s4 s6 see here s4 s6 the lower bound is s4 so this is s4 s6 s1 s6 s1 so s1 is the lower bound s6 s2 s2 is the lower bound s6 s4 s4 is the lower bound and for s6 it is s6 see here when you observe this so this is the operation which which is made uh, using join and meet see here after operating so we got all the entries in this composition table and these are all the elements so these are all the elements related to this set l1 
see here if this uh, satisfies the closure property so a join b and a meet b so those elements which belongs to the set l1 then l1 is said to be which set sub sub lattice see here since all the entries in the table see if you observe all the entries in the table s1 s4 s6 so these are all repeating s1 s2 s4 s6 so these are all the elements of the set l1 so which l1 s1 s2 s4 s6 so l1 is closed under the operation join and meet therefore l1 is closed under the operation join and meet hence l1 so this is l1 less than or equal to is a sub lattice to the main lattice less than or equal to hope you understand this one and the next one we have to consider another four elements and we have to show that it is not a sub lattice so here when you consider l1 l1 set subset and we have proved proved that it is it follows the closure law and l1 is a sub lattice to the main lattice l and now the main lattice we have to consider a subset of l so this is the main set s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 and s8 and l2 be the subset of l so i have chosen four elements from this so first one is s1 this is s5 this is s7 and this is s8 so after selecting four elements and making a subset and we have to now prove that l2 is a sub lattice so this is the main lattice s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 s8 out of this i have taken s1 the position of s1 here is this one so this is the main lattice l and this is the sub lattice l2 so these are the hash diagrams so after that i have taken s5 so what is the position of s5 this is s5 and next one s7 so the position of s1 is here and s8 the position is here so now i have to operate so i have to do this operation on join and meet so s1 to s1 see here s1 to s1 so s1 will be the upper bound so s1 to s5 see s1 to s5 so s5 is an upper bound and see here s1 to s7 s1 to s7 so s7 is the upper bound s1 to s8 so s8 is the upper bound and next one s5 s1 see here s5 and s1 so which is the upper bound s5 so this is s5 s5 to s5 is again s5 s5 s7 s5 and s7 s8 so for these two a side is an upper bound and s5 s8 s5 and s8 and again s8 is the upper bound s7 s1 so s7 and s1 so so this is this is the upper bound s7 s5 s7 and s5 the upper bound is again s5 sorry s8 s7 to s7 the upper bound is s7 and s7 s8 so out of these two s8 is an upper bound so s8 to s1 so s8 is at the top so this will be the upper bound for the remaining elements so s8 so this is s8 and coming to the meet here s1 to s1 so this is the lower bound s1 to s1 to s5 so this will be the lower bound so this is the lower bound for each and every element s5 to s1 s5 s1 so which is the lower element so this is lower s5 to s5 so s5 is the lower element and next one coming to s5 s7 so this is s5 and s7 so here if you see s5 to s7 if you see in the main set so here s3 is the lower bound and s8 is an upper bound so we have s3 as an lower bound s5 to s7 so s3 is the lower bound here and coming to s5 s8 so s5 and s8 what is the lower bound here s5 and next one s7 s7 s1 s7 and s1 so out of these two s1 is the lower bound and next coming to s7 s5 s7 and s5 what is the lower bound again it is s3 so again the element is s3 and next coming to s7 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 will be the lower lower bound and s7 s8 s7 and s8 and s7 is the 
lower bound so this one s8 s1 s8 and s1 s8 and s1 so this will be lower and s5 will be lower and s7 will be lower and s for s8 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 will be lower see if you observe these things all the entries should be the elements of the subset l2 so th there is s1 s5 s7 and s8 but there is no s3 in in the set l2 as there is a element there is an element s3 which is not which is not in the subset l2 so s3 is missing here in the set l2 therefore l2 is not a sub lattice for the main lattice so if should if it should be a sub lattice it should satisfy the property that a join b and a meet b the result of the every element should be the elements in the set l2 so s3 is not doesn't belongs to L2. Therefore, L2 is not the sub lattice to the main lattice L. So, that is the uh, clearly I have mentioned here. L2 set has S1, S5, S7 and S8. S5, S7. See here. S5 and S7 belongs to the set L. Whereas, after um, the result, after the result with the operation meet, S3 doesn't belongs to the set L2. Therefore, L2 is not closed under the operation meet. Under the operation meet, it's not closed. So, closure property doesn't satisfy. Hence, L2 less than or equal to is not a sub lattice of the main lattice L less than or equal to. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. I hope you understand the concept of sub lattice and the most important example Please follow these videos definitely. I will be uploading many more topics related to this series. If you really like, you know what to do. Please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends as well. And leave a comment below and have a look at my next video too. Thank you so much.